Hello, fellow engineers, and welcome back to free... Wait, it doesn't even say it. We've zoomed out so much, it doesn't even say it. Okay, we're gonna have to zoom in. Welcome back to Freeways. So this is the highway interchange design game where you get to build your own roads, whatever shape you want. Yeah, and I've been having a lot of fun with this. These are all the levels we've created so far. And last time, we just unlocked all of this outside perimeter. Yeah, and I was, I was doing these in like numerical order so i think we got to that one which is number 48 as you can see there so i assume the next one is this one we can see there's going to be a little road connecting on the left and maybe that corner i don't know let's let's see oh god it looks like we've we've started with quite a complicated level <coughs> right paddy what's going on this is my adorable labrador puppy paddy unfortunately he's not for sale however this is this is the limited edition Paddy plushie. They're only available for a very limited time. So if you want your own, be sure to head to the link in my description where you can buy it from the website. Any that do not get purchased may be destroyed by Paddy himself. So this is your chance to save a Paddy plushie. <laughs> anyway, so we've got like an in and out road on the left and an in and out road on the right. At the bottom, Smith Road. That just comes in and at the top, Smith Road just goes out. Nothing too serious. And then we've got three different shops. We've got the gun shop, the Elgato 4K capture card shop, and the three Ed Bunny Rabbit shop. Now, if we click on each of these signs, we can see the demand to each location. And it looks like... Ooh, apart from those ones, I was going to say, it looks like everything is thin. So the thicker the arrow, the more traffic that wants to go there. So everything over this side is thin. So I'm sort of thinking that's perfect. Or a roundabout. I might just draw like a roundabout here. And as we learnt before, we sort of want to go as close to these as possible. Because it makes it cheaper. Right, so there's our roundabout. Let's... First, connect this guy in. Then we can connect the gun shop. So I think we want to swing that round to the right, assuming we want a roundabout to go that direction. So that's our first lot of traffic. Next, we're looking on this side. So they really want to go to the two shops. From the bunny rabbit shop, it's to those two. To be honest, they like all want to link to each other. So again, I'm just thinking like a roundabout, although it's going to be like a triangle about sort of thing. Not quite a triangle, more like a diamond in the rough then i assume we probably want it to go the same direction as that one so we'll do that to curve around and then we probably just want to connect around like that yes network complete why do i feel like i've made a bra nice. <laughs> oh i'm such a child right let's hit play i guess this pink stopwatch and it will simulate full traffic 530 i didn't even say 100 i said 100 <laughs> 530 that's a decent score i think our top ever we hit it last time did we hit 600 or was it like five nine something uh, that is decent that is really good right the bra is completed do we carry on going around in that order or do i just go randomly let me know in the comments i'm gonna do the first couple in order and then i'm just gonna go a bit random but then after that tell me what you want me to do okay Let's go. Ooh, we got a big river. Ah, oh, and the other part of the Loch Ness Monster is poking out. That's what this one is. <laughs> Definitely part of the Loch Ness Monster. Um, right, let's click on these and see where they all want to go then. Ooh, they're all quite thin lines. Okay. I'm sort of thinking, shall I do... I'll do the straight through to yellow first, because you can see that's a thick line. They just want to go straight across. That's not bad. Like... I thought that'd be wigglier. Now, one thing to note, if you haven't played this before, there's no undo button, so... <laughs> it's pretty, pretty dangerous, this one. And then that one wants to go back to blue. But then we've got all of the... I'm sort of thinking, like, a little roundabout there. Right, okay, so we've got a little roundabout in there. Hopefully, they can connect to that. I'm not sure if they can. Where do these guys want to go up there? Oh, actually, look, that arm, it only wants to go down. It doesn't want to go to those two areas. So I think we'll do that one first. So we'll come straight down. We'll do a bridge. And you can tell it's a bridge because it's a lighter shade of grey. Oh, balls. <laughs> And if you press this button here, you go up again. Can you see it's an even lighter shade of grey? That's because it's a bridge over a bridge. I'm an idiot. All right, so I've started again. We're going to... I think we're going to do the roundabout arm first. So I think that makes more sense. All right, now let's do this arm again properly. There we go. Down. We're connected in. Nice. And then we go up. So they want to go over there. They don't want to go over there. And they don't want to go over there. So we're only taking two very thin arrows. I'll tell you what. That might just be a junction then. Oh, they only want to go to green. Ooh, that's handy. So I think we'll do straight into there, curve up, and then we'll just curve that one in a little bit higher. Network complete. Okay, let's see how this one went. 
There's like no traffic on this. I think it's all about trying to minimize the amount of concrete. Oh, oh, that's pretty bad. 198. Could I have done that any more efficiently? I don't know. Well, as there's nothing to unlock for a certain score, I think we'll just move on. We can always come back because at the end, we got this world efficiency and we're going to be trying to get that number as high as possible. All right, let's go on to this level. Okay, okay. What do we have here then? We've got quite a lot of roads. Eight different roads. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven different roads. <laughs> uh, oh, and there's, there's all different priorities that people want to do. Oh god, where do I even start with this? Honestly, because of how it's shaped, I'm thinking roundabout again. Roundabouts are so efficient because they don't use any bridges and bridges use, I think they use double the concrete or something. Basically, if you can do everything at ground level, it's a lot better, just like real life. I'm noticing the ins and outs sort of swap around. And so if you tilt your head to the right, that's on the left, that's on the right. And if you go back to normal down here, that's on the right rather than the left. Uh, but with that in mind, doing a roundabout, I therefore think it's better to go clockwise this time rather than anti-clockwise. So I guess let's just draw it and see how we get on. So we'll go around like that. And then we'll start drawing all of these up. Right, so these ones are a little bit trickier. These two that have swapped rounds, the ins and outs, because it means we're going to have to do a little cheeky bridge over the top. So as I come around this way, I think I might do this road first. And this one can just bridge over the top and in like that. Lovely, because we don't want to put a merge, which is this one, before a diverge, which is this one where they're diverging off the road. All right, so again, I think I'll just do... I might do the other way around this one, actually. I might do on first and then the off can be a bridge. Network complete! Oh, God. <laughs> I'm intrigued to see what's going to happen at this corner. Let's follow this yellow car. What actually happens here? Because it doesn't look right. Oh, he does just get his back end out. Okay, cool. All right, let's press the pink and see if a roundabout works. Oh, it gets very clogged. 487. Oh, no, we need 500. Can you see this? This little icon here means at 500 efficiency score, we unlock a photo. And it's not just any old photo. It's a photo of a highway in real life. How exciting. Uh, so I'm going to I'm gonna need a way to fix this. And I'm going to guess... The sort of main solution is sort of doing like a bypass. It's so like we sort of, we try and find like a very busy stretch of road and we, rather than going round the entire roundabout, we try and do like a hamburger, which is basically putting a line across there of road. So it looks like a burger. So I'm going to go around and try and find the thick arrows. That one goes straight up to there. So that's too close to make a difference. I'm sort of thinking maybe we go from here over that way, just because we have the space and there's quite a gap there to go down. Look, jammed. But yeah, I reckon if we come off that bridge and then we try and go into that gap which i definitely left on purpose right that should alleviate round here a bit because basically well actually that's no that's definitely the best one to do because if you look at this that pink line it's only two places across but if they're going to get from this area up to this area using our roundabout they have to go all the way round therefore they're making this junction this junction this junction and this junction busier let's press the stopwatch and see how much better it is definitely better oh 609 609 that might be our best score that might be our best score ever. And it was 100% fully intentional. <laughs> right, let's um, let's go look at this picture. Oh, oh, that is a health, if ever I've seen a health. Yes, that stands for a highway I would like to fabricate, obviously. Uh, but this is the Gravelly Hill Interchange in Birmingham, United Kingdom. It's the world's first spaghetti junction. Love it. Right, back to the map. All right, and the next ones, I'm going to do like a random order. So let's skip a few and go, I don't know, like that one. Oh dear, there's a lot going on here. So we've got six in and out roads. We've got a lump of water in the middle. We've got five chodes down there. And we've got three lollipops over there. Oh God. Okay, so all the, all the traffic, they want to go everywhere equally. Apart from these wants to go to blue and blue wants to go to the orangey color so i think we want to do a roundabout and probably with a hamburger in the middle so i was just talking about this now i can show you exactly what one looks like although we do have some obstacles so it might look a bit weird oh okay so top and bottom are opposite each other really really annoying yeah, but i think we probably want to go anti-clockwise this time just because these four they're all set up like that oh what's the best way to go it's probably around the outside of these lollipops so i'll try and stay pretty tight to them all right and then we can do all the easy ones so although do i want to do that yet i think i should probably do this direction 
first. Long here. Nearly into the chode. We'll stay nice and tight to the top by this water. And just over that. Oh god. Is my bridge long enough? It might not be long enough. I might have cocked that. Anyway, now we'll go back the other direction. So then we'll go across and I think we'll go through these bottom chodes. And like that, that corner could be a bit dodgy as well. And then where I connected this blue one in, I do actually want to bring that round there and we'll take this one round there. So now you can see like the green car coming on here. He can go onto the roundabout and get to his destination. Nice. And then, oh, maybe this is where I cocked it. I didn't leave enough room for you to come off really, did I? Do we think we can get a road through there? I'm going to try it. Sod it. Yes, apparently it works. Let's see. Yes, a car fit down there. <laughs> We might have lost a bit of paintwork on the sides of his car there, but he oh, just about squeezed through like that green one. Cool, right. And then these ones. Do I do bridges over or not? How much traffic is going up there? This is where I'm never sure if it's worth doing the bridge or if it's worth just having your merges before a diverge. So I'll show you what I mean, what I usually try to avoid. So that is a merge onto the road and then that is a diverge off it. Can you see that motorbike? If I'd done a bridge over, he would never be interfering with the people coming on there. Uh, so yeah, more of a do as I say, not as I do type situation. But we'll press the pink and maybe we want to come back and add the bridges after. Let's see how we get on. Oh, it looks... Oh, I was going to say it looks okay, but then it slowed up. Oh, 556 and we unlocked another photo. Uh, but before we look at that, look, look, that is a burger. Can you see the burger -ness now? So we got the top bun with some mold growing out of it. We got the bottom bun, which is squished because there's such a big burger in there which is this thing anyway let's have a look at this photo then -hoo -hoo! look at that one <laughs> we have got testicles everywhere basically look what's going on here so we've got all these sort of clover leaf junctions where is this wherever you want to go in detroit an interchange will take you there wow there is so much going on you can see there's like two ponds sort of making this into a four leaf clover very nice but yeah i think just this image alone comparing it to the last one the birmingham united kingdom one i feel like that really shows like how much more space there is in america like look how spread out this is compared to uk where it's got to be really really compact interesting interesting stuff all right let's pick another one just randomly i reckon we go over this side that one. Oh, every time i'm just thinking roundabouts i'm just thinking roundabouts every time i gotta get over this oh look it's called cow road right okay so last episode i did the owl interchange it was a great success wicked thumbnail <laughs> Not so much in game, uh, but I'm sort of thinking, sh can we do something cool looking as well that satisfies the junction? Most important thing, of course, we're not architects, uh, but also looks reasonably quite cool, quite different. Now, there's something I've been wanting to try for a while. It's like a double layered roundabout. Uh, let's have a look at the traffic first. Oh, God, traffic really wants to go to that cow road. I don't blame them. It's a cool name. Oh, don't say each one. Each one wants to go to its own place. Oh, God. Okay. Right, I feel like I can see in my head sort of what the intended solution might be. But I'm going to try and do my double-tiered roundabout. So I'm going to start with like a perfect circle somewhere in the middle. I'm going to have one there and one there. So I drew it that way around. So I think we're just going to do the straight down road going into it. You, know, you might be saying, Matt, this just looks like a normal roundabout, but a bit smaller. But don't worry, it'll get more complicated because we'll be coming off over here and connecting to this roundabout, but we'll be connecting to a higher level. So we'll do something over to there. We want to do another one, but the opposite direction, I think. So let's go about there not the best roundabout i've ever drawn but it will do it will do and then we want to do going on to this roundabout and now you're probably wondering how do we connect them to each other well we do but we don't in a weird sort of way so i want to make sure i've got all of my arms we want one coming off here to go over to this roundabout like i've done there so as we're going around that way i think i'll do it from there is that right i'm gonna make a mistake i can tell okay let's build the next part of this so basically we go from this arm and then we're going to build a roundabout on top of this roundabout but i'm going to space it out just so we can see what's going on a bit easier although now i'm thinking do i need to do my arms off of there because i'm not going to be able to see them i'll we'll do that first right right bear with me bear with me this will be cool it'll be worth it if i don't cock it up why is there no undo button <laughs> right there we go so we've done the next tier of roundabout remember this is higher than the dark gray stuff so now we can start to add some things in so we want to do from this arm up onto there and do that and come off of there and go down into there 
We do the same into that arm, into that. All right, so then we want to come from this blue into there. I think we're going to connect the cow road onto that bit as well, just because I'm sort of running out of space. So we'll come around there, connect in there. Do you want off of there, down into there? Oh, God. All right, so this one, we want to go up, and then we're going to be coming around this roundabout in that direction, like that. And then just connect these two together. I know when we're coming off this one, we want to come along there and then connect down. And I want to connect to that bit of road. So, yes, I think it's done. I think it's done. Okay. Uh, the only final thing I need to do is off this one. We need to come under here and connect in there. I sort of forgot about that one. We'll do from there and then down. Oh god, these three roads are so close together. Oh, that's network complete. I'm not done though. I'm not done. I gotta do all the arms for this top roundabout. Uh, right. <laughs> Alright, so top road we spin around. We're going that direction, right? Yeah, the opposite of the one beneath. Oh, which makes me think, what is that? Have I cocked this up? Oh, I may have cocked it up. How are they gonna get around there? I think I've cocked it. I think I've cocked it. Oh, well, we'll try and finish it anyway. Have I missed any of them? Yeah, look at that corner. Look at that corner. I. Why did I do that? I'm an idiot. I think that's gonna ruin it. Can you see what these pink cars are doing? They're going... <laughs> Handbrake, cut up everyone behind them. Why is there not an undo button? Anyway, let's press the stopwatch and see how we get on. It's not great. It's not great. It's... Oh. <laughs> Look how much concrete used. 10,000 tons exactly. Honestly, I feel like this would have been pretty good if I didn't cock up that ramp. I wonder, could I do that? Let's see if that makes it any better. Oh, look, you can see the pink's going straight through. It might be better. It might be better. Oh, <laughs> I added like 100 to it. Sweet, 382 with that. That is beautiful. What does it look like? I feel like it looks like glasses. Or is it just, it's just a bra again. It's just a bra again, isn't it? Oh, well. Right, let's pick one more level randomly then. I'm gonna go with that one. Oh, it's a nice three-way interchange. Let's have a look at the traffic. Oh, they all just want to go to each other. Is that equally almost? Yeah, it's equally, but it looks like a lot of traffic. So I think this one, to make it efficient, it's all going to be about reducing the number and length of your bridges. So to start, I'm going to do the straight throughs. I'm going to take it down a little bit. So I think I'm going to need space so I can do my on and off arms up to there. So we'll do that sort of thing. And then we'll do this straight through and we'll keep it straight or try and go up a little bit just to give us some drawing room. We wouldn't do that in real life because in real life you always come off like away from traffic. You wouldn't really have a left turning on a motorway. You'd always go right and then over the top. Uh, but this is a video game. All right, so let's do our from this road up to the top. That's that arm done. So we'll go like that. And we'll come off there and we'll probably do that as a single balls, <laughs> as a single bridge. I did not mean to draw that, whatever I've just drawn. So we'll come off, bridge over, back down. I'm a bit scared. I've clashed those two bridges. Let's see what happens when a blue car comes from up here. Oh, it might be okay. It might be okay. No, it gives way. Damn it. <laughs> okay, we're drawing that again. All right, so this time I'm doing that arm first. Because then I figured I can do this bridge double. Rather than doing that one double, I'm doing this one double. Just because I am. So I think we can fit through that gap quite nicely. So we'll come along there. Bridge over. Make sure there's a gap between them. That's it. And then back down. Oh, why, why Matt? Why? <laughs> It was going so well. All right, let's just watch these orange cars. Are they going to... It's a bit Tokyo Drift, but I think they're okay. And then all I need to do is just take this arm onto that road. Network complete. Look, we've sort of made like the Zelda Triforce thing. What's it called? I'm going to Google that. It is called a Triforce. It's just upside down. Actually, I feel like in that orientation, it's an MOT sign. <laughs> So MOT is like the vehicle testing thing. Every year in the UK, your car's got to get an MOT to make sure it passed like safety tests and all sorts. All right, anyway, let's just see how that simulates. There's so much traffic. It's ridiculous. Oh, 492 and we've unlocked another photo. What a lovely thing to end on. It's just a corner, basically. What, what is that? Three freeways merging in the countryside of France. Cool, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Nice. Right. Anyway, that was three ways. Let me know if you want me to carry on working around numerically or if I should just do random ones all over the spot. But for now, peace, love and subconsciously drawing women's underwear. Bye.